In this video we're conducting more HCMC stock analysis and we're reacting to the news of further dilution of HCMC's outstanding shares announced by the management yesterday on the 2nd of March going into the 3rd of March. Now this is likely to cause some depreciation in the share price at least in the short term so we're going to be talking over that today we're going to be reacting to this and we're going to find out what is the best course of action a good charted course of action going forward if that sounds like something you're interested in today then please do smash that like button consider subscribing to my channel and i'll see you in there for a good fireside chat of what to do next Hey guys, welcome into the video. So here we are looking at the announcement from HCMC on Tuesday 2nd of March at 10pm and that is the update of the recent conversions of Series C preferred stock. Essentially a dilution in the share price, there is extra shares on the market to sell and this overnight so far has caused a 27% reduction in the share price. Now some people can immediately look at this as another buying opportunity but the share price now has depreciated quite a lot from its highs where it was up at 0 0.006007 and the long term play still hasn't gone too far away from that to be fair we're still waiting on news from the court case but this is just showing the filings from august 2018 going through into exactly how many shares are now available on the market and believe it or not they have actually thought about their shareholders a little bit in doing this because they've actually reduced 45 percent dilution for the company to shareholders so they've actually held back on 45% on the amount of shares that could have actually hit the market and that would have obviously diluted the share price even sooner. Now the total outstanding shares of this company were absolutely huge anyway, hundreds of billions in fact which is why the share price was so remarkably low and that has now been added to. So if we have a look at what the total amount of shares outstanding now is, is over 300 billion billion shares in common stock available to buy so that is obviously a lot however we are coming to the end of the warrants being cashed in so it shouldn't get diluted too much further anymore which is actually a good thing now bearing in mind that the company could potentially buy back shares later on down the line this could just represent a really good buying opportunity to hoover up more shares at such a low price now. The price is now 0.0013 at the moment as we speak. And that is a very low start point to get in on the company. People trying to average down to that are going to struggle if they bought it at highs unless they've got significant amount of money to invest back into it. So now is a good time to start off a long term position in this company and then wait for news from the court date. So here we have the SEC filing, the Form 8K that is showing the dilution over the period and also shows the statement. So there's obviously 2.2 billion shares of restricted stock issued pursuant to the companies contractual agreements with its companies officers and directors so they won't actually hit the market which is fortunate they will remain with the directors of the company and we can see the outstanding share balance is still up there this is this statement filed with the sec so this is really repeating what has already been said but i just wanted to show you the formalized nature of it now uskin trading solutions over on twitter has came up with a solution here so if there's a 1.5 billion settlement from Philip Morris in the court case, this is an if obviously we are speculating there at what the result of the court case will be, but that would only be, they could seriously get rid of all of those shares from the market with the amount of money that they could get from the share case. Now the market cap is only in the hundreds of millions, a $1.5 billion settlement would easily allow the company to massively reduce the amount of shares that it has outstanding and then also increase the shares that it, uh, the, the overall share price as well due to the supply and demand. So yeah, the overall outstanding shares does seem absolutely crazy, but 
reliant on damages or royalties from the share case this could then be massively reduced very quickly by the company further down the line obviously we await the 15th of march for results of the motion to dismiss filed by philip morris and then we'll know a little bit more from then on about just what's going to go on further in the court case now also another statement by the company is that hcmc does not have any social media that it's trying to that it's trying to get out there at the moment so there's an unauthorized twitter page on twitter funnily enough that is not the official page of hcmc so stockholders and shareholders need to be very careful when looking at that obviously because it is unauthorized and they could be spouting all kinds of fake news and rubbish so you need to be very careful obviously there's an awful lot of information crave about hcmc going on right now people want and are hoovering up as much information as they can possibly get because obviously we've got investing decisions to make but just be very careful about what sources you get this information from so youtube is good in some respects but also bad in some respects because people on there could just be uh, just people at the end of the day and they could be spreading fake fake rumors and fake news that they just in either with malicious intent or not with malicious intent so you're looking at the really good sources of financial information like your yahoo finances sec filings hcmc's own websites that's where you need to be getting your information from not fake twitter feeds or facebook pages etc there are a couple of facebook pages that are full of hcmc shareholders and that is a good place to see what other people are finding but again on there that information must be taken with a pinch of salt same with stock wits and the like so just one thing that i wanted to round off with today and that is the volume that we are that we are seeing in the market at the moment so there's a lot of volume here over the last couple of days because of exactly what's going on the buying and trading and ditching shares is happening at a rapid rapid pace and some of the big investors in the company have exited at earlier points so anybody that's holding now needs to sort of think and probably already is thinking for the long term playing the court case playing the news around the court case i mean the, the share price now is so low that even a little bit of news will spike it back up and you can make money off that trade or if you're holding for the long term you're holding till the end of the year you're holding to the end of the court case or you're holding until 2025 then this is a decent entry point and it can't really depreciate too much further after the effects of the dilution are felt today in the market so you've got to let the market settle and the, the shareholders that are going to exit go but once that's happened today the share price should not dilute too much further should not dilute too much further and then it allows new investors to come in and then trade the court case speculation that there will be hopefully we will get some concrete information as well anybody that believes in the long term the patents the intellectual property of this company is just going to be buying and holding out for the long term i don't see this company cratering back down to where it was completely but obviously or issuing billions and billions and shares in the short term is obviously going to have at least a negative impact on the share price in the short term for the for the time being so there we have it guys definitely going to be a short term dip in the share price as a bare minimum as the dilution is felt but the long term fundamentals of the company haven't changed at all the court case information still hasn't changed at all and any sort of amount of damages that this company is awarded by the court case if it's in the billions of dollars they can easily buy all of these shares back and retire them and increase your share price that way so that is something very important to remember yes the share price is diluted now but over the longer term if they can get the damages from the court case and they spend it on buyback and they conduct reverse stock splits then we can definitely see higher prices in the share price further down the line Thank you very much for watching guys appreciate this is a few hours behind the initial release of the information but it was actually released when i was already in bed due to the time difference here in the uk so i've brought it out to you as quick as i possibly can 
Thank you very much for watching. If you could smash that like button on your way out, that would be awesome. And I'll see you in another investing episode. Catch you later.